Mum, can you sign here, please? Mm, what is it, Henry? Oh, it's just a form to say I've, um, been eating carrots this week. What? It's to win a year's free supply of carrots. <laughs> Be nice to your brother week. Now, why would I sign this? Because I have been nice to him. Look, I've got photos to prove it. That's not Peter. That's Rude Ralph with a mop on his head. I'm not signing anything. But I need to win that prize. Well, you could try actually being nice to your brother. Huh? If you do, I'll sign it. But that's not And I promise to water you every day so you grow into big, healthy vegetables full of lots of lovely vitamins. Oh, listen up, Worm. I've got to be nice to you so I can win the new Class Zero computer game. Oh, really? Yes, really. Mum says she'll sign the form if I'm nice to you all day. All day? Yes. This isn't a trick, is it? No! Because if it is a trick, then... It is not a trick! Um, sorry. All right, then. I've got a meeting of the best boys' club today. You can help me tidy my room before they get here. Can't wait. Great! Your room is already tidy. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Look at these books. And it needs a good dust and polish. Job. Ooh, this game does look like lots of fun. It's even got a rocket robot mode. Oh, all right. What do you want me to do? Next on the agenda, broccoli or carrots? Which is better? Oh, one pot of tea and one high fiber fruit flan. Thank you, Henry. Uh, could you slice up the flan for us? <laughs> You're not cutting it very tight, Ah! Uh, don't be horrid, Henry. Uh, a slice of flan, Ted? Uh, uh, no, no, thank you. Come on, Best Boys Club. Let's go and look at my stamp albums. Oh, it's no good! to Peter all day. You've nearly done it, Henry. But just remember how much fun you'll have playing Class Zero. Henry? Yes? What do you want? Well, what I want, what I really, really want, is to read next week's Fluffy Fairies comic. But you've got this week's Fluffy Fairies. But I don't want this week's. I want next week's, Henry. But it's not out yet. Precisely. This really isn't fair. Where am I going to get next week's fluffy fairies from? No one's got next week's fluffy fairies. The only thing wrong with fluffy fairies comics is that they don't tell you how to torture boys. Yeah, torture boys. Except Moody Margaret. So easy. Me, I'm Henry. Ooh. Do you hear that? Oh, I expect it's just the boys having some fun. I'll just make sure they're all right. Peter, is everything all right in there? Oh, how exciting! 
exciting. Nighty night, good boys. That was really scary. Yeah, can we have some more? How about a fairy story instead? Hum, hum. Once upon a time, there was a lovely pink fairy called Princess Twinkletips, and... Right, time for a midnight feast! A midnight feast? <laughs> no sleepover's a proper sleepover without a midnight feast. <laughs> <laughs> midnight, oh, midnight feast! feast. <laughs> Come on, men! But... <laughs> but it's not... I mean... Ooh. Come on, Peter! <sighs> Did you hear something? No. Well, I think I did. Phew, this isn't good for my nerves. Henry, it's Dad! Quick, hide! Ah! Oh, Fluffy. <laughs> Was close. Yeah, it was. Thanks, Fluffy. Henry, we're being really naughty. <laughs> now then, let's see. Oops, never mind. The fairy cakes aren't in the fridge, Henry. Yeah, I know. But there's loads of other stuff in here. But, Henry, we've already brushed our teeth. Peter, we're... I mean, you're having a sleepover. Yes, I am having a sleepover. Woohoo! Look, here are the fairy cakes. Just one thing missing. <laughs> I knew they were there. Mum's secret stash. Just what we need for a great midnight feast. But, Henry, what about all the mess? Oh, we'll clean it up later. Now, come on! Phew. I knew you'd get the hang of sleepovers in the end, Peter. Next up, bedroom trampolini! <laughs> hmm, that sounds like... It couldn't be. Peter and his friends wouldn't jump on his bed, would they? Of course not. But I'll just pop up and check. <laughs> Peter? Is everything all right in there? Uh, yes, Mum. All right, then. Go to sleep now. Best boys. Yes, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, Henry? The grand finale! Make way for the meanest pirate in the land! A vast <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. Henry! Tonight. Why not? Oh, please, miss! Henry's talking! Henry, leave the classroom now! What, miss? Out! No! He can't make band practice tonight because he's got a terrible disease. That means he has to go to bed early and he's not allowed to sing anymore. Really? Poor Henry. Oh, it's a terrible affliction. Who knows when he'll recover? I hope it's in time for my granddad's birthday party. It's our first gig. Definitely won't be in time for your first gig. But don't worry, Ralph. I'll find you a new lead singer. Uh, you will? Of course. Leave it to me. 
Oh, and Henry doesn't want anyone else to know about it. So it's best not to say anything to him, OK? Uh, OK. Oh, there you are, Ralph. Listen, I can't come tonight because... It's OK, Henry. I know all about it. Oh, OK, cool. But I won't let you down on the big day, I promise. Um, yeah, I know that. Henry, a word now, please. Hey, guys, meet your new lead singer. Who? Me! Band practice will be at my treehouse, six o'clock sharp. Make sure you're there on time. Oh, it's all right. Uh, I can explain. When I'm king, homework will be listening to music really loudly. Come on. Playing computer games. Hey, that looks like Ralph. Oh, it can't be. Why would Ralph be sneaking into Margaret's treehouse? But I guess I'm not going to be king for a long time. So, I'm just going to have to get used to doing my homework. <sighs> I said, did a letter come for me today? No. Did a letter come for me today, Mum? No. Why? about brushing your teeth if you don't want to. Yours disappointedly, Henry. <sighs> Who was your biggest fan? in three days' time. Do you think I don't know that? Uh, do you think we're going to be ready to perform? Of course we're going to be ready to perform. Otherwise, my name's not Margaret Millicent Mordia Smythe. Is it? No. Now, take five while I warm up. Again. La, 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 la. Hang on a minute. That looks like Henry's writing. Yeah, Ed Banger, mean, horrible parents. I have to stay in every night to do my homework. <laughs> I'm ready for my solo. I don't think so, Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe. Time to pack up, boys. Hey? We're out of here. Got to post a letter for Henry. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. I can't watch TV. I can't go on the computer. Can't listen to music. Can't read my comics. All because I didn't do my homework. Oh, well, at least I've got you to talk to, Fang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mother and I have decided that we should look after Fang for the time being, too. Right, Henry? I'm not sure they'll think that was such a good idea. Morning, Henry. Oh, you brought Fang back. Uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, he can be a bit noisy at night, can't he? <laughs> yeah, he can. Uh, Dad, does that mean I can have all my other things back too? No, Henry, I'm afraid you can't. Now, it's time to rise and shine. We've got a busy day ahead. What are you doing, Henry? Painting my toenails, worm. What does it look like I'm doing? Oh, you're sorting out your gizmos. I'm not sure you're allowed to do that. What do you mean? Mum! Henry's sorting out his gizmos! Oh, can you believe this? Come on, Henry. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. Doing what? I'm just sorting out my gizmos! Precisely. I'll be looking after these for a while. But 
You can polish these instead. Where's Henry? He's in the kitchen, polishing spoons. Really? Hmm. I think he's quite enjoying it. I haven't heard a peep out of him for ages. Hmm. Well, he's going to enjoy this. Henry! Ah, there you are. How's the spoon polishing going? Uh, fine, Dad. Can I have some of my stuff back now? Not just yet, Henry. I've got something very special for you. Thanks, Dad. Can I just have my boom box back? No, Henry. Come on, then. Aren't you going to open it? Oh, right. I thought you said it was something really special. It is special. It's a special spinner. Right. Can I maybe just have my gizmos back? Henry! Just the golden gizmos, then? Henry! Oh, no! I've forgotten that Great Aunt Greta was coming round this afternoon. Oh, great! Yeah, great. Don't be horrid, Henry! What? How's the spoon polishing going, Henry? It's not. Now go away, smelly nappy baby. Ooh, that's a yo-yo. Yeah, I know that. Bet you can't get it to go. Yes, I can. Just watch me. <coughs> See? You can't get it to go. Yes, I can. It's just broken. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Peter, what a big boy you are now. And Henrietta, how very lovely to see you too. Oh, your spoon polishing. How exciting. I used to love doing that when I was a girl. Why don't you run along, Peter, and go and do something teenagery? And here are some chocolates for you to eat while you're doing your teenagery things. Uh, uh, thank you, Great Aunt Greta. I see you've got a special spinner. Eh? Oh, yeah, Dad gave it to me. Doesn't work, though. Let me see. See? It works. It's so easy being me. I'm I think you'll find that's mine. <laughs> hey, come back! Oops, sorry. And just where do you think you're going? She's got my comic! <laughs> nice one, lad. Think I'd fall for that. Uh, yes? Now then, let's have a chat about all these toys you've been knocking over, shall we? Did you get it? Get what? Your comic, of course. But never mind about that. Just drive. You what? You heard what I said, Dad. Just drive. Henry, your manners are... Now! All right, all right. Keep your hair on. Oh, dear. Someone's angry about something. Maybe they didn't get their copy of Gross Class Zero either. <sighs> Very funny, Dad. Why don't you help me make my cake, Henry? Uh, don't want to. It's a chocolate cake. Still don't want to. Oh, one happy day. Mum? Yes, Peter? It says here that if I want to learn all about stitching a sample of toilet roll cover, I just have to order a back issue. But what does that mean? Well, it means that if you didn't get a copy of that particular magazine, you can ask the publishers to send you one. Mmm, goody! Eureka! That's it! <laughs>